and the Knights of the Round Table. Give points. Josie. And previously, we were interviewing Miss Lucy Morningstar of Lucy Morningstar Band. She is a singer, a songwriter, an actress, uh, and she is soon to release another album. So she sent us uh, this not yet released, so you heard it here first, song called Honolulu. I'm hoping that this works. Yay, technology. Lucy Morningstar Band, Honolulu. Fingers crossed that this works. Finger, fingers crossed. It does.
shameless plug for other awesome ska music from Oahu, which is not Maui, but another island, uh, check out Go Jimmy Go. Because they're amazing, and they just released a documentary. Anyways, uh, Lucy Morning Star Band has a show this evening that starts at 9. That would be Left Coast Time in Anaheim at House of Blues. That's 11 Central. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Strands of Light, which was um, one of the albums that she talked about, excuse me, during our interview. No excuses. Uh, Just burps. She used to be known as Lucid Lion, which is her stuff. Um, and then again, when she moved to Maui, became the Lucy Morningstar Band. Uh, let's see here. Uh, each song on this album, it shows, seems to feature different people on each song that plays something. Uh, da, 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 da. This is from 2013. This is the Strands of Light album, Lucy Morningstar. We'll start with Atmosphere here on Just the Sky Kid. <laughs> Do it in what 
Same song. 
Oh yeah. Okay, we won't. We always do. Except when we won't.
is going to be a Calvin move that sounds like it should be on an episode of the original Charm series. This one's called The Edge of the World. it live you can however when you utilize people who distribute your music you lose your rights to it and what that does is on all platforms that are digital 
you're not allowed to broadcast these things. We don't pay ASCAP or other such fees to be able to play music because what we want to encourage is the freedom and independence to publish your own stuff. So it's flagged us. It's going to take this video down. It's going to be muted after we hit done and record. So we're going to stop playing it. Yeah. Uh, R.I.P. We also have another video, another camera rolling, uh, not being flagged. It's not connected to the internet yet. But it doesn't matter it doesn't because really when matter. we added it and yeah. put it on YouTube, it will still be flagged. So I don't know who owns the rights to this. Change all the music. I don't know who change. owns the rights to this music, but we'll find out when we publish it on YouTube because they will tell us. Fans, please do yourselves a favor. I got one dollar on Distro Kid. Do no, I bet, I bet it's more <laughs> higher up than that. Um. I would encourage you to please, please research what it is that you're posting on or using as a distributor because you do lose your publishing rights and you lose the amount of full potential as far as royalties because you're paying people to do stuff. So we're going to see... Uh, Let's see. This one, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if this stays flagged. I don't know. Probably the most popular artist we've had currently on the show. <laughs> so I'm shocked that we didn't get flagged previous to this. This one's called The Road. Um, it is on SoundCloud. The music we were pre playing previously was on Bandcamp. We'll see if this one is able to be played. This is called The Road. Because if it goes black and like... If we just get, get cut down. off, you know what happened. Then we did. Fair warning. <laughs> That was Lucy Morning Star of the Road. Okay, so here's how this works, all right? So we're doing this DIY, grassroots, underground, 
we don't pay any major distributor. We don't pay any major ASCAP or other such fees. There are three major music industry gurus that you as, if we were FCC approved, regulated, et cetera, you would pay to be able to play other people's music. And what that does is it allows for publication and airplay of music so that those people get paid and then a small percentage of royalties then maybe get paid to the artist. So really what it is, is it's just big business feeding big business. Now, hold on real quick, and we can't say fuck if we're FCC approved. We can't say lots of things if we're FCC approved, which is why we continue to utilize this platform. Worked at radio station, managed a radio station, oh, and shit, uh, God, balls. when we balls. start, when we started, we, we were an underground thing, um, which wanted to have FCC airplay. <laughs> we still had to abide by certain rules. We still had to pay certain people. If you utilize or you pay anybody to distribute your music and it's not yourself, all of your stuff will be flagged because you are paying somebody to really kind of be that broker and that buffer in between. Um, so, uh, it's just, it's something that happens. And so, with further publications of things, you are able to produce and distribute your music on platforms yourself. Um, and there are certain platforms that allow you to maintain those publishing rights. Sounddrop is one of them because they pay those other major distributors. You pay them $10 for a cover song. Uh, the rest of the services they offer are free uh, and you get to maintain your publishing and royalties. Uh, also, Radio Union, um, if we're talking super DIY... Record Union, you said uh, radio. radio, sorry. Record Union, uh, also as a super DIY, uh, who is it, Dilapidated? Yes. Dilapidated <laughs> Records is another one. Um, I still need to do more research into sound drop. Mm -hmm. But that might be a viable thing. So previously, if you go back and you watch the video beforehand, we were interviewing Lucy Morningstar. She's a singer, she's a songwriter. She is an actress. She has a show this evening um, at 9 left coast time, California time, and 11 central time at the House of Blues, Anaheim. She's the one that writes the music, plays the music, and then will hire musicians if she's going on tour or does something huge. Um, as she stated in the interview, when she moved out to Maui, that is when her music took on a different light and became the Lucy Morningstar Band, where she had a foundation of musicians behind her. And now being in California, she has essentially four different bands um, that play with her as she goes and plays music. However, tonight at the Anaheim House of Blues, it is just her and I believe Backup is her boyfriend. So, let's see. Let's, let's see. What else should I try to play? This one is called Wish. Wish.
That's available on SoundCloud. <clears throat> the last song that we are going to play for this evening is Wake Up and Smell the Monopoly featuring Jean Paul. We'll see um, if this one makes it through its entirety. Let us know via comments if you can or cannot hear us. All I know is that there is still a big red ribbon across that says Facebook yes. through its other <clears throat> blah, blah, blah has notified that you are in copyright infringement. So anytime you pay somebody to do anything, they read the fine print, own your shit. Unless it explicitly states that you are utilizing them only as a service to like release in a certain way, uh, they take your stuff. So this... This one is called Wake Up and Smell the Monopoly, featuring Jean Paul. This is also available on SoundCloud. You've been listening to the Lucy Morningstar Band. And previous, the 2013 album was Lucid Lion. Again, her own stuff. Thought we knew 
person was wake up and smell the Monopoly. Again, the Lucy Morningstar and uh, the 2013 album that we played, Strands of Light, is her own um, self. Her own self. It's all her own. But uh, she used to go by Lucid Lion previous to moving out to Maui and being Lucy Morningstar Band. Uh, you heard it here first. <laughs> um, we played a never before heard because it's not yet released track, Honolulu, to start the show. Go ahead and find her on the major music platforms. Um, and after this show ends, feel free to look up Ingrid Eubanks, uh, the hug lady. She has her hugathon going on tonight, as well as the band that we manage, Oveja Negra, is playing tonight in Chicago uh, at the Honky Tonk. So, and that's on South Racine in Chicago, Illinois. So, we will be back uh, next week. We got to figure out how that's going to go because it's Halloween and it's trick or treat, but we're supposed to have the first rule. Yeah. So, we'll see how yeah. next week goes, my friends. Without further ado, um, travel gently into this yes. safe evening, right? Yes. Enjoy your weekend, and mm -hmm. we will be back next week, okay? Thanks. Bye. <laughs>